Hey, orange one here. So we are just going to pick up right where we left off. Um, there was some kind of quests that we were doing or getting started. Um, we're going to get out of Southgate Station pretty soon. We just need to talk to a few more, like, a uh, few more NPCs. And we'll start using our mind magic on things in the tunnels. <laughs> okay, so there's Harold here. Okay. Okay, so he gave me some flux controller that will help me turn on these things north of the station. Okay, so there's that. If I hit N, I've got my notes. So I've got that. Um, this is, I think, a little bit tough for me. I should take out a rat hound with one of those bolts. So what I need to do for that is I've got um, these putrefying bolts here. I don't know. Do I have... It doesn't look like I have a crossbow. So how am I supposed to do that without a crossbow? I thought that I was, I was supposed to be given a crossbow by the dude that does the stuff with the, uh, the experimentation. But maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking... Okay, let's go back over there and see. Because I thought that there was something like a crossbow that they give you access to. Um, blah, 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 blah. I think it was the aggro thing district. Didn't he tell you, like... I could be wrong, but I think he tells you, like, Hey, this is how you get a crossbow. Um, okay. Okay, never mind. I thought it was, it was like up here or something. I could be mistaken, but I thought that there was like a... Something about that. Okay, no, nothing. <laughs> And he's got more of these, like, bolts, but that's not what I need. Maybe, oh, do I get the items, like, when I leave here? I think that might be how it works. I've honestly forgotten, but I thought it was, like, up here. I could have sworn that there was, like, some sort of, like, storage room or something. Yeah. No. Here we go, tranquilizing bolts, hopper traps. This might be for another quest that I haven't gone to yet. Yeah, I think that that's for the quest with Big Brett that you might do after doing these other quests. <laughs> Just jumping ahead by mistake. Um, so let's go ahead and go to the... I think it's the cave tunnel that we want to go to. But I'm also kind of curious about why I don't have a crossbow. Because we're going to need that. So I'm going to just go down here and see if we can get that. Okay, Lucas. Um. <laughs> Machete. A shotgun. I had a crossbow. There we go. Okay, cool. Um, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. It's got some good dialogue, this game. It's pretty funny. Alright. So, did they give me a note there? Metro station, then entering the under passage from there. I don't know if I want to do that right now. That, I think that area is kind of a little sketch. But the important thing here is that... Hold on. So I got myself a crossbow. 
And so that, with these bolts, means that we can do, you know, all kinds of good things. Okay, um, bye. Look at that. I forgot exactly how to use this, but I'm sure we'll, we can figure it out by reading it when we get there. We just need to get there first. I think I want to go to the cave tunnel exit first before we go to the metro, because I think the cave tunnel is the first thing. The, the like, kind of like the baby enemy area. Hello, Malcolm. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna get to some combat pretty soon. I promise. There's all these all these things. You can't get into that weapon locker unless you got like, you know, the right skills and there's no way at this point in the game that you have those skills. You can also quick save. I am gonna be doing that in this game. I usually try and do Iron Man playthroughs, but from what I remember from this, this game does not lend itself to Iron Man. Let's just say that. It's also kind of like real time goes by. So you have to be kind of careful. Old Jonas, this dude's pretty cool. I've, I've played this game like a, a fair amount um, in the intro around the station side. So I kind of know a little bit about who this guy is. He just basically has, like, trash. I mean, he's got, like, some decent stuff, but, like, y you can kind of see it's like, eh. I mean, actually, maybe some of that should be, could be good. The footlocker key could be very useful. Yeah, you know, there's, there's all kinds of stuff that he's got. And so he can tell me a little bit about them. North of Crossroad Watch, east and west from there. Okay, Omega Station, yeah, it was built by some people called Omega Station. I remember this a little bit. <laughs> you want some walk? watch or something and he can tell you a little bit about some mutagen tanks or something yeah so basically it's like a bunch of bugs and dogs kind of stuff in case you're curious about what these things are did we already do that yeah I think we already I had them talk about them. Yeah, those side beetles, I remember, those are the ones that you really need to worry about because they can they can get you a lot if there's a whole lot of them. I don't really remember the shadow crawlers, to be honest. Tunnelers are nomadic people of the deep, so they just like run around in the <laughs> Okay. Oh, interesting. So this dude's got some good stories apparently. He's he's a pretty he's a pretty friendly dude. You know. Doesn't mind me going through here and just kinda like checking out the barrel. It's like just outside this place, trying to loot it. Yeah, so I think that there's basically any direction that you go out from here, I'm pretty sure you'll find something. Um, if we go to M for the map, you can see a little bit about directions. Um, I think we have a compass, don't we? Oh, we can go to the lower caves map. Interesting. Um, yeah, I've forgotten which, what way is what, but we do have a compass on here somewhere. Is it, uh, if you look in your map? Yeah, I think that this way is north up here. So you're saying the first one's up north, because I'm pretty sure the compass is oriented the way 
It is in the real world. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, the red being north. Yep. Yep, here you go. Hearing some squeaking sounds up north. And I think it's basically this whole area. It's full of these, these rat hounds. But we had to do what for the quest? With a, a bolt and collect a tissue sample. So a rat hound with this bolt. So if I'm looking at this, look at that. I think that I should be able to, when I'm in combat, use this or something. I remember it, it was pretty intuitive. I just don't want to make myself, like, run out into the open and make it, oh, oh, there's one, I think. I saw some something up there. There we go. Hello. Ah! It just hit me. Okay, I can't shoot them, can I? Yeah, I did. Um, and then can I also then use neural overload? I'm just curious if that that did not do very much damage. Okay, <laughs> can I run away from him a little bit? Okay, land our turn. Rat hounds not hurt me. Ow! 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 Uh. He might get me here. I don't think so, no, he won't. I can get him with my brain. There we go. Okay, and then I think that that's, that's all the combat for here for now. Yeah, here we go. I got the sample. So is that all I need to do for that? I mean, I did that for Quentin. Okay, whatever. I know there's there's ways to heal in this game. Um, health is not that hard to come by, to be honest. I don't think that eating that will get me health, but there's other things that I, I think that I have here that will. Oh yeah, there's like all the stuff that we have. Oh, I should probably be wearing the armor. <laughs> that too. Ow. I think we just need to be a little bit more careful. Not let myself get run up on like that. Can I go stealth? Oh, we're gonna go stealth. Let's see if we can spot them before they spot us. Kind of thing. Oh, no. Nothing around here. I think that there's gonna be some enemies like through this door or something. Got a feeling. Yep, can I? Okay, so I hit space there. Can I time dilate? Uh yeah, but it's like not a very high hit chance. Ooh, that will that will do it though. Or not. Okay, I need to be careful if they spot me. I don't know if this is going to be the end of me. Yeah, there's, they've spotted me. Can I go here? No, I can't. Well, I think they're going to kill me. Yeah. I don't think that I can handle you, but I will try. Oh, we've got you kind of like pigeonholed here. Yeah, this, this is very unlikely that we'll actually survive this, but I'm just kind of curious. <laughs> there's, there's something that will heal me up there. I'm almost positive of it. Uh, where are you? Here we go. See that? Guy should go down in the next turn. Now, if I could get a little bit further away, I think that would be good. Because then I think that they're not going to get as many attacks on me. Oop, never mind. There we go, he's dead. 
friends again, that'll kill me. Yeah, this is not... There's no way I survive this. <laughs> We're gonna have to redo this combat. But, oh, that... Actually, if I had gotten, like, a critical like that, I might have actually survived this. But he's gonna... He's gonna get a hit on me and I'm gonna die here. Oh. Wait, am I seriously alive still? I survived with one HP. Oh my goodness. No way. Where are you? Here you are. Yeah, if you hit tab, if you can't see them, you can still attack. <laughs> it's a little cheap. Take that. Now I'm gonna go grab these remains. Um, uh, sure, we'll take all that. I think you can also go just go back to the main base and heal up in there. I think they heal you up for like either very cheap or free. I can't remember. I don't think that we need that, to be honest. Oh, lockpicking, uh... Do I have a lockpick? I think I do... No, it's a tranquilizing bolt. Um... No. I don't think that we do have... anything for hacking. Or, um, lockpicking. Hmm. Strange. Um, let's see. You can also attack rocks, yes. It, it's... I mean, I don't see why you would. But you can. Yeah, I like this game, but the combat's a little bit tricky for me, to be honest. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Yeah, we're dead. <laughs> That's what I thought. Can I... Um spot them from like over here I don't know why it's like forcing me to select what if oh I can see one of them right there can I melt you with my mind oh you're gonna see me huh well take this <laughs> That's gonna end terribly for me, I know it. Yep, they're gonna hit me and kill me here. Watch this. Yep, done. Okay, I think that... We need to get some way of healing. I've forgotten exactly how that works, but... You can also kind of, like, snipe these guys. And I think that we actually should be getting a level up soon, but we just didn't get it last time. And there's, like, the guy that's, like... Kind of like over there. What's over here? I've forgotten. I've honestly completely forgotten how all of this works. Oh, we're like right where we started. Next to old, the old man. You can go through these doors, dude. Whatever. <laughs> A little faster, I suppose. And I think we need to heal up. Because... I don't think that we've got any other way of healing right now. <laughs> Should have probably done that at the uh, medical thing. But yeah, if you go here, then they'll open up for you. Luckily, I haven't gotten a disease. I wonder if Quentin will take the sample. I didn't see anything in my like journal about it, but I think this quest stuff in this game is kind of like that. Where was he? Was he... He was in ergonomics, right? You just wanted one sample, I believe. I hope. Uh, let's see. Yep, here you go. Yep, teach me. Sure, you'll you'll teach me how to freeze there. All right, sounds good. And they'll teach you other ones once you get a little bit more experience with them. But we did get that done. Oh, look. Level up. Does this give me health? I think this gives me health. I'm almost positive. Um, oh, yeah. We've got these. So we'll get a little bit more in gun. Oh, actually, no. Hold on. Maybe crossbows. 
I don't know. Maybe not. I don't think we're gonna really use crossbows. Well, it's always good to have a little bit in guns, to be honest. And then we'll go with... I think that this one's a really good one that we're gonna go in with kind of like uh something like that. Maybe a few more in I think it's biology that we want. I think that's related to healing and stuff. Is there I, mean, oh, I literally have no um, ability to hack there. Yeah, you would think that that would be related to that healing, right? I know that those do pay off, I just don't know much about it, to be honest. Um, I want a little bit more in guns. We'll go like that. Any feats? Ooh, I do have another feat. Um, paranoia. <laughs> oh, great. Those sound very horrible. Um, I've heard there's Tranquility, which is really good, and then there's... Oh gosh, there's something else that restricts feet psychosis. I'm gonna go with that. Yeah. That sounds good to me. We're gonna get some critical rolls. Um, did not heal us. <laughs> that is uh, worth noting. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's go to medical. I'm pretty sure they heal you up for either free or very cheap. As you can see, this is not your Fallout game. Like, those rat things will kill you. Especially if you're not wearing any armor. Yay, free healing though. <laughs> It is new. Um, let's see. Do you have anything that I can learn from you? Blueprint. A uh, uh, health hypo. Cyboster. I think you have that. Yeah. That's worth a thousand, though. <laughs> I have a hundred. So we're going to have to work our way up to that, I guess. <laughs> or I could I could barter and buy maybe a, a health hypo. No? Oh man, those are actually super expensive. I don't think I can even afford one. Okay, um, bandages? Can I, uh... So on one, please. How much will that cost me? Oh man, I've forgotten how this works. It's like, then I offer some stuff. If I offer you, can I like, do I have to like click and drag it over like this? Oh man, that's, that's funny. Okay. I kind of see a little bit about that. And there's some auto thing that I could do here. But if I can use the junk that I've collected, ooh. If I do that, it seems like you really want this leather. Okay, let's uh, let's do that. Grade. Wait, what? Oh, um, grade. Are are you not looking to do this trade, or something? You're just not interested in this item. Oh yeah, the, I think the X is like he's just like not interested in those types of items. Hmm. That's, that's annoying that you're not going to give me any advantages. I'm sure I'll find some out there. I think that there's also ways to craft them. Oh, what's the crafting in the game? Yeah, six. Yeah, you get like different menu things that you can do there, but it looks like I'm not going to be able to do that right now. Um, back to the tunnels. <laughs> that's how you kind of don't die when you're playing on this difficulty at least. Thank you. 
Now I've got all the magical abilities. I should be able to take out these guys in the uh, tunnels. It's better than what I did last time, which was I went to the metro, and there's like people up there, and they will mess you up, man. Oh man, yeah, it's not not exactly a fun time for a low level character. <laughs> and you'll get some guns if you can kill them. It took me a lot of tries. I was like, this game's impossible. But it wasn't impossible. I just was kind of playing it wrong. Okay, so now that I have more health, I bet I can take these guys out. Um, I bet my, I might be able to even hit them with a crossbow bolt. I'm going to see if I can kind of hide behind the gate, because I think you can hit them with some abilities from through the grate. Like if I just, like, stand here. I might be able to just wait for a little bit until one of them walks by and I can see them. Or not. Does not seem to be working. Okay, I'm gonna slow it down. Can I get stealthy? Oh, here we go. They're coming for me. Can I shut that? Yeah, I can. <laughs> I think Temporal Distortion is a really good one because it does damage in two turns, but it does like a lot of damage. You know? Um, what is this button? Space and turn? Okay, cool. Yeah, I need to be able to see them when they come at me from the other direction. Or, I mean, I could try and shut the gate, but they've probably already made their way towards the gate. If I'm honest, you know? Here we go. There's, there's, there they are. Um, so, how much damage does this do? Fourteen, nineteen. Oh yeah, crack kinesis does definitely more damage. Oh cool, I think I might be able to just kill you outright. There we go. And I don't know where your friend is. There we go. They're coming. Did you get hurt by the other thing? Yeah, I mean, I think they're, they're dumb, so Neural Overload doesn't do much damage to them or something. Oh, nice, they got chilled. Yeah, Cryokinesis sent us that. Haha. <laughs> Magic. <laughs> That's what you want to do. That's how you get the started. Oh, man. Well, we got a nice little reward in here, I'm sure, for our, our combat prowess there. Taking them out without even getting touched, you know? Ice Ice Baby kind of style. Um, I'm going to end this here, and then we'll start the next one right here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.